On this video I want to talk to you about piano wire. Traditionally I've been explaining that the piano wire I should use should match the hole in the tie bar to give a good snug fit. But I think we can do an even better job than this. I've got some 0.6mm piano wire here and if you use something as thin as this it has the strength to move the points across nice and smoothly but it provides the, the flex or springiness so that if you have a servo that hasn't been adjusted correctly, it doesn't really matter. This has the knock-on effect that if you were to fit a servo using a servo controller that's completely not set up, it still works perfectly. So what I'm going to do is just plug this servo into an extension lead for a servo controller. Switch on. And you can see it has the default movement of about 90 degrees. So if I go to about here, you can see it's moving about 90 degrees, which is the default setting for a servo controller. So if I just connect this 0.6mm piano wire to the end gauge, I'll push it through the hole in the aluminium channel and the tie bar, and you can see here that it's operating with no, nothing's been adjusted at this point. So I'll switch the servo controller on, and I can operate and everything's moving normally. There's no additional strain because it's being absorbed by this piano wire. In fact, where it's pressing and holding the blade against the stock rail, you can see the springiness here with the piano wire. So using 0.6 is actually making life so much easier. If I take that same setting and push it into the double O, the baseboard here is about, point, uh, about six, seven millimeters thick. So in both of these, you can see it's normal use. Switch on and operate. And without any adjustment whatsoever, you can see it's still working normally. You can see the points are moving, even my old sticky points. Yet there's enough spring, and I haven't even adjusted this yet. On this one, I've doubled the thickness of the baseboard. So let's see how this works. If you remember your um, physics, force times distance and angles and so on, this should give me about twice the movement as the previous for the same settings. There we go, operate, and we can see the points are moving nice and smoothly. Yet the additional movement by this is being absorbed by the piano wire. So even if you're moving further, it's a non-event. Everything is moving and working properly. So before I set anything up on the servo controller, you can see that it's working without stalling the servo and there's enough spring in there to forgive any misadjustment. And in this case, it's using the default range of adjustment. So you can go on to adjust the limits as you need when you've finished, but it gives you a, an easy way to set it up and, and run it in seconds, and it's completely non-critical. Thanks for watching.